Hi everyone, so this is going to be a video on uh, products that I regret buying. It's going to be a very short video because there's very few that I um, don't like. So there's only two things that I don't like. So I'm going to show you. Things that I regret buying and I got this with my own money. So you're just going to see this. Right. Now, this is Bath & Body Works Orange Sapphire. It smells lovely, but the thing is... It has very poor lasting power, if you know what I mean, so it doesn't smell through the whole day. So you have to spray it like a few times throughout the day. And I put on this morning, it goes away after about an hour, 45, an hour, maybe 45 minutes to maybe a half an hour even. It doesn't really stay on that long, but uh, so if you guys don't really like the idea of the poor lasting power thing, don't get it. I'm just warning you. Um, it smells nice, like I said, but I just don't like the fact that it doesn't stay on the whole day. You know, like all my other perfumes. Now, last thing. This is my Herbal Essence Body Envy Shampoo. Um, I really, personally, I do love Herbal Essence, but um, this, I have hair that's supposed to be very thick, and I don't like when my hair just, like, gets poofed up, and then I look like Tina Turner, because I look awful. But um, this shampoo volumizing shampoo it used to work and it didn't do really anything to my hair which I liked because I like to style it by myself but the fact that this made my hair so big I have to like pull it back which is why I have it back right now um so if you don't like your hair being all big like this just don't get it I'm just saying and the conditioner does the same thing so I'm thinking of dumping this and getting a completely different kind like bedhead or something because bedhead is really really good I I so far, there's nothing that I don't like from that um, brand, but uh, this one I'm never going to get again. I'm just saying. I used to get it all the time. It smells wonderful, but I just don't like the fact that it volumizes your hair like that. It's just awful. So, especially I have short hair, so it makes it look even worse. But, um, yeah, those are products that I do regret buying. Oh, and there is one more thing which um, I don't have with me right at the moment. I will show it to you some other time. It's a MAC Shade Stick. I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with it. It's a little stick that's like this. It's, it, can, it acts as a really good base um, to make the colors pop. But what I don't like is that the thing is it's so pricey in general. I didn't pay a lot for it because I'm going to do a shopping haul later on to show you. Um, it's literally $22 for something this big like this and I don't like the fact that when I put it on it smudges everywhere no matter you know how hard I try no matter how slowly I do you know it, it's just obnoxious and then as soon as I want to take it off it doesn't come off for like two days I, I put so much makeup remover on I washed my face like twice it doesn't come off so I think NYX's um, jumbo eye pencil is so much better than a MAC shade stick I mean just because it says MAC on it you know and celebrities use it it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good um, so I do recommend trying it out before you buy it that was like the most thing I ever regretted buying from MAC, um, but I do love their products, I will say that, it's just, that's the only thing I don't like. Um, so usually cheap is best, sometimes, but for me, I think MAC is my favorite makeup brand, but that's something I didn't like. So, um, that is it, you guys, and, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned, bye!